welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet. On my channel you will find a variety of things including what I eat on keto as well as some keto recipes and I have done a lot of protein sparing modified fast bread recipes in the past as well. So please consider hitting that red subscribe button. We would love to have you join the family here and if you're one of my returning subscribers thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today is going to be an update video. So I realized that I didn't do an update video with everything happening and we were away and everything. I kind of did give you the last weigh in that I did. And that was me gaining a pound from being away from home for three days. We were gone to Montana. So I was actually really pleased with that. I kind of, like I mentioned, did the 50-50 thing. Half of the time I was keto and made keto choices and then the other half of the time it was not. However, those choices were like healthy foods still, just not keto, but they were like mashed potatoes, um, like things of that nature, right? Not totally going all the way off board. Um, so I was really pleased with that. And then I came back home and got back on track. I was so busy when I came back home. It was unbelievable. So I had a whole bunch of Etsy orders that I had to push out throughout the week. And then I ended up getting more throughout the week that I then had to work throughout the weekend. And it just so happened that we got our grandson here for the weekend as well. Now, Jimmy has a son. We are actually a blended family. So Jimmy has a son and a daughter and they are, I believe, 28 and 25 years old. And Jimmy's oldest uh, child, um, Alex, <clears throat> Alex has a grandson and his name is Zidane and he is eight years old. So we usually visit him um, in the summertime. He will either go camping with us or spend some time here. So he ended up coming here for the weekend and it was very busy. He kept really busy with Jimmy because of course he is, you know, grandpa's shadow. So they kept very, very busy, which was good because it allowed me to get some of my work done because the whole thing with Etsy is that you are on a time crunch and you need to have your products done and mailed out by a certain day, however many days you decide that it's going to be for you to, to make them, right? Uh, but with everything else going on and we were away and you know, it just was super busy for me over the weekend and I try not to work on the weekends. However, I ended up working last weekend. So, but that was fine, I got everything done and then the beginning of this week, I stayed on track. I actually didn't hit my macros for a couple days out of the week because I ended up hurting my back earlier in the week. So it is getting a lot better, I must say. Um, pretty much back to its normal self. I'm still contemplating if I should go for a massage because Jimmy had mentioned that it always seems to happen to me. And it does. It always seems to happen to me like once a month or once every couple weeks or something like that that it just really tightens up. He's worried that it may be like a disc or something like that, but I think I would be in a lot more pain if it was that. Um, but I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it, and I don't know, I, I'll i see what I do about it. I'm really not sure what I'll do about it going into this week, but. Um, so I was having a lot of pain for a couple days, and actually that is one time that I don't eat. <laughs> Go figure, is when I am in pain. I really do not have an appetite whatsoever, and considering how busy I was, like I was still in pain, but I had to get work done. I had to get work done, and it was just crazy, crazy busy for me. Um, so that was excellent and then I stayed on track for the rest of the week and stayed keto, got back to eating my macros and the clean keto foods that I have been eating at home. It was nice to be, be at home and I told Jimmy, I said, as much as I love visiting and I love the company here, I love going somewhere to visit. I love it when our kids come home and visit. It was a lot, it was a lot. And I'm sure a lot of you can resonate with this that sometimes it's just a little bit too much. And I said that, that is, that's it for company for the rest of August anyways, for sure. I plan on going to visit Jenna in Banff by the end of August, but I'll probably just stay over one night um, but that is, that is probably going to be it. I just feel played out. <laughs> I feel 
feels socially played out, I'll be honest. And I am an extrovert, but however, I feel like now that I'm older, I'm turning into more of an introvert as well. I enjoy being at home. I love staying at home now and working from home, being retired, whatever you want to call it. I'm technically still kind of working, even though I don't go to a physical job. Um, but I love it. I love it so much and being in my space and doing my own thing and having my own timeline like a lot of people have the syndrome of the empty nest syndrome, right? And I personally don't feel that I know I, I feel horrible saying that but I do not feel that way whatsoever. I love my kids. I love them dearly. They are they they were my number one and then when I met Jimmy we had this big long conversation because my girls were the world they were my world I would do anything for them because that's all we had was each other and Jimmy quickly said like you know we have to make us a priority Jimmy and I because we will be together forever you know your kids grow up and they live leave home and you know they get friends and they get husbands or wives and they're kids of their own and have their own life and they can't be your number one forever um but my kids i love them dearly as most of you on this channel know but i do not feel that way as far as an empty nest syndrome i enjoy my space i love what i do i love the freedom of it i like to do what I want to do as far as timeline and grocery shopping if I want to spend an hour at Winners, an hour at Marshalls, like I can do that. <laughs> so um, but I think I just need a break and I feel I'm just getting tired of the whole social aspect of it and Jimmy understands that too. Jimmy would love it if people would be here at the house 24-7 he loves people, he loves company, he hates being alone, but however, um, I just need my alone time. So with all of that that has happened in the last week or two, um, I have ended up losing, I just wanna double check because of my numbers, but I have ended up losing 1.8 pounds this week. So I'm really happy about that because I did gain a pound, like I had mentioned with our little holiday, and and sorry and going forward i feel like i'm on the right track again and then if i can ride out the rest of august you know on plan sticking to my goals and everything like that um then that is what's going to make me extremely extremely happy because everybody has goals and everybody wants to meet those goals and i feel like sometimes with all of the visiting and when we go on holidays and when you know company is here and you know Jenna was here for a week and you know you're doing things with her because she wants to go and experience these things right and it's really hard to stick to your guns and to stick to your goals I find it anyways I really find it hard uh, but I'm getting better I'm getting better to um, having like that mindset and I feel like I'm not quite there like I was before we went on our holiday but I feel like I'm getting back to that mind space, right? So I feel like that's really, really important. And I want you to stay on track and keep going for the rest of the summer, you guys. We only have, what, four, six, eight weeks left of summer, depending on where you live. Maybe you have summer all year round. Um, but here, it usually starts to cool off by mid-September. So we probably have a good six weeks before it starts cooling off. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm sorry, I am not one for summer whatsoever. And we are now in another heat wave here. And it has been highs of, like I mentioned, like 38 degrees Celsius, um, which I know probably isn't hot, maybe where you're living. <laughs> but here, um, you know, we kind of get the same temperature as Las Vegas. And I had mentioned that I would never go to Las Vegas during the summer and now I'm I'm living in it. I'm living in the same temperature. However, they get like over 40 degrees Celsius. So that is my update as far as my weight and how I have been doing this week. I like to do these check-ins um, once a week with you guys to let you know my headspace. Like I mentioned many times, it's therapeutic for, for me and I know a lot of you can resonate with a lot of the feelings and struggles that I go through and I have been going through and if you are going through that dark 
struggling time right now in any situation. Maybe it's something else other than eating. Just know that your feelings are only temporary. I want you to know that this is only temporary if you are struggling right now. And to push through it and there will be, there is, there will be and there is light at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. I promise you there is. And it, you don't know how long you're gonna be in that tunnel, I'm telling you. I've been there many, many times. You don't know how long you're gonna be in that tunnel, but I want you to know that you will come out on the other end and you will come out braver and brighter than you ever have before. So I want you to know that and to keep going with all of your goals. Do your meal preps, do your meal planning. I want you to keep on track. Go to the grocery store and only do the outside aisles. Make sure you're stocking up on the beautiful veggies that we have here anyways in Canada right now. The vegetables are amazing, amazing. The produce, the strawberries, everything is amazing right now. Take advantage of that. Get your meat, get your produce and you know stay on track and make your meal plan. I know, I know that you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. I'm tell I'm talking to you. I am because you guys, you know, you see it all and I I share it all. I share it all here on YouTube whether people like it or not. Um I share what I want to share on here and I feel like the weight loss struggles is real and a lot of people give up once they start feeling the struggle, they give up and think it's not for them. Uh, but I feel like when you're in the right mind space, I've said this before, when you're in the right mind space, everything just kind of flows. Everything flows. And for me, when I'm not in that mind space and, you know, it's all like a big mess in there and just dark and, you know, negative and negative self-talk and everything like that, you know what? It feels like nothing is going right in my life, whether it's eating or my work or anything else like that's just how I run I I don't know if, if there's other that can kind of um, understand how I feel in that sense but when I feel like I am clarity and a clear mind no fog and I am energized and I'm feeling good everything just seems to flow you know so I want you to know that you know this is life period this is life. I have gone through personally, like I'm sure you have, moments in my life that have been a roller coaster. I have been on the highest highs in my career, in my life, I, but I've also been at the lowest lows with my divorce, you know, with, you know, other things. Like we've all have been through it and we all get through those times. We just need to utilize the tools that we have, whether you need to reach out for help please do if you feel like you need to reach out for help um, or if you just feel like you need to write it down pen and paper this is what I need to do and this is what I'm going to do tomorrow starting by number one I'm going to wake up I am going to wake up number two I am going to brush my teeth you know it's little steps it's the little things that add up to the big things remember that so that is for my update for this week you guys let me know how you are doing down in the comments I haven't chatted with a lot of you I don't know if you're busy with summer holidays and vacations but let me know how you guys are doing please down in the comments and please make sure that you like this video also make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and make sure that you hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video thanks for watching